When you need advice, come to Ben and Kelly. It's group therapy on 99.7 DJX. All right, let's see if we can get some help for our listener. And listen, let's be gentle oh. when we are giving our feedback. Wow. All right, Lisa, out the gate. Yep, Lisa in quotes. Hey, guys, first and foremost, I know this is probably going to bring some harsh judgment on me, my boyfriend, and our relationship, but I need y'all to hear me out. Okay. This morning, as I returned from a weekend trip out of town, my boyfriend of three years sat down and confessed that the previous night he had gotten drunk and hooked up with his boss. Oh. Actually, former boss, because she just took a new job. It was her going away party. Oh. Obviously, I am devastated. Yeah. We love each other tremendously and had recently started talking about marriage. I have to be honest and also telling you it's not the first time he's done something like this. A mm. little over two years ago, he drunkenly made out with a mutual friend. Oh, my gosh. Now, here's my confession. Four years ago, I actually got drunk and cheated on my first serious boyfriend. Oh. So it's hard to throw stones too much when I know I've been guilty of the same thing. And mm-hmm. I know that the drinking is a problem mm-hmm. for both of us. Mm-hmm. But beyond that, I don't know what comes next. I don't know how to move past this. I don't know if I want to leave him, but I don't know if I can stay. So again, please go easy on me. Wow, what a going away present. Oh, did you have to? Did you have to? It's kind of rubbing something um, a little. So, I wonder, she didn't say it, but I guess I'm assuming, has she not told her current boyfriend about her, like, past indiscretion? Like, like uh, the, the reason maybe her and her first serious boyfriend broke up? I, I wonder know. if she was truthful or or has or you know maybe that never even came up you know sometimes I'm, I'm that happens. I'm guessing she hasn't unless maybe that's how she got over the his first indiscretion by telling him, "Hey, uh, I know you just made out, but guess what? I cheated on my first serious boyfriend." So yeah, so let's so now we're even. Draw. Don't yeah, exactly, but now the she hasn't cheated off. on. So she hasn't cheated on him. No, not this boyfriend. Okay. It was her first serious boyfriend. Okay. Well, it's at times like this I like to listen to the sound and sage advice of our friend Tony Melito. Yeah, I understand. Things happen. The past is the past. <laughs> really? <laughs> that is, you know, who knew that? line was going to come in handy but that's what i'm in st- this <laughs> moment but here we are like, like, tony Melito literally <laughs> he did he, he, said it. he is the poet of a generation he and, is and he has given us some advice here <laughs> that i think could probably help lisa solid. where it's like hey what happened to you in your former relationship <laughs> this isn't even in your current relationship don't hold don't hold yourself to that you well, yes, Hunter says past indiscretion, indiscretions with a different person are irrelevant to the current situation. All right. Now, yeah. Jared's like, sounds like they're made for each other. <laughs> Talk it out and just try to agree. Hey, don't do that anymore. Again, we turn to Tony Melito. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> Things happen. The past is the past. See, <laughs> it works. It works. So just, you know what? Get a Tony Melito button <laughs> and just. Oh, I press think we've got one, Kelly. When, when you, when, well, everyone else needs one too. Like, yeah, you're like, you're, we'll, we'll play it again. You can record it. You're and like, then honey, play it honey. You need to in your relationship. Honey. <laughs> yeah, I understand. Things happen. The past is the past. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hey, uh, I would love to know, and I think I think Lisa would like to hear from people. Maybe maybe you've been in this situation where you were guilty of some indiscretions in the past. I'm not going to play the button. But <laughs> I mean, come on. Seriously, I think he needs to embark upon some new merch. Um, I think this could be a new opportunity for Tony. We got to call him up. Like some things happen, passes in the past sort yes, of t-shirts. He need, yes, that 
And and he needs to make a button. I'd that buy. People can just press. I'd buy a coffee mug. <laughs> uh, all right. So let us know how you worked through it with your partner. Um, 502-795-1997, because I think that's why we do group therapy, because I think sometimes this healing in a community st- setting helps to know that, one, you're not on an island. Right. Uh, others others have been where you are, and there is a way through it. So uh, that's what we want to do. 502-795-1997. Take some of your stories on the way. So Lisa is having a hard time in the wake of her boyfriend drunkenly cheating on her with his former boss. But uh, she's been guilty of cheating in the past, too, with an ex. Now she doesn't know really know what comes next, how to really move past it. She's like, any advice would be helpful. Um, Rhonda says on Facebook, was he really drunk or was that to ease the pain of betrayal? Mm. If you say, chances are it'll happen again and again. You get the point. Nobody deserves that. Move on is my advice. You sound young, so I'm sure you'll find someone worthy. Yeah, there's a lot of people like Savannah who are pointing out drunk actions, sober thoughts. So if he knows this is an issue when he drinks and he cares about the relationship, he wouldn't be getting drunk. Yes. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that are like, hey, him being drunk is an excuse. He cheated either way. And so this is um, this is kind of telling for sure. Yeah, and Sarah also agrees uh, kind of the um, if – it was with a different person, your indiscretion, it doesn't count. She says, okay, you've cheated before, but you're no longer in that relationship, so it's wrong that you're comparing apples to oranges today because you aren't with that person anymore. He's done it twice. I could get over the kissing someone else early on in your relationship, but as far as being intimate with someone else this past weekend, that's a Hmm. hard no. He took advantage of the fact that you were out of town. Does he feel guilty? Maybe, because he told you. Or did you catch him? In a lie, and that's why you found out. Oh, Either way, good point. I'd be moving on or going to therapy if you really want this to work out. Yeah, Jessica texts in and says, please don't let yourself believe you deserve this because of your own past. Yeah, I understand. Things happen. The past is the past. Yeah, see, Tony Melito once again rolls through in, in the clutch. It's really uh, sage advice. Yeah, she says you need to take your own past out of the equation and then decide if this is something you can get over with your current boyfriend or not. After him doing it twice, though, I would say there's unfortunately a chance that it would happen again. Yeah, and Heather says alcohol is not an excuse to cheat. Jessica says Mm. being drunk only brings out what you want to do. It releases inhibition. He wanted to hook up with her. Yeah. So the sooner you accept that, the better. Yeah, Justin's asking, what does she mean when she says hook up? Did they make out or was it more? No, I think it was more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Angie texts in and says, I just spit out my drink when that Tony Melito clip. <laughs> <laughs> Jared says, that's the first time I've ever laughed hearing Tony Melito on the radio. Right. Again. But it fits. Yes. It works. Sometimes we need to turn to our poets of this generation. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and yes, Brandis, a Tony Melito button. Yeah. I understand. Things happen. The past is the past. That's right. Thank you, sir. Oh, we Thank need you for... to keep that. I feel like we're going to need it. <laughs> Thank you for giving us that advice. In this segment. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, as Tony said and as a lot of you said, the past is in the past. So, I... For, yeah. for her. Yes, but for her. for him, no, a future it's is now. the current situation and it's more than once. Yep. So, we, we need to really e- reevaluate if he can be trustworthy and stop doing that. Yeah, so, um, you know, s- uh, swearing off alcohol, that's probably a start. Yes. Uh, maybe some therapy if you want to go there for your boyfriend. That's another another way to do it. Um, but, yeah, there's a lot of people who are saying, mm, this, this, this isn't a good start to things. So. Yes, he's, a, with, with, he's done this twice with two different people. So yeah. it, there's yeah. something that is going it's on. Going on it's with an him. underlying reason why he keeps doing this. Take alcohol or no. Right. All right. Well, hey, good luck. Keep us posted. And that is group therapy.